hello everyone and welcome to my channel happy monday uh before i begin if you have not already done so please subscribe to my channel and if you like this video please be sure to hit like before you go if you would like more information you can always check out the blog which is at xjonespennies.blogspot.com or if you would like to contact me you can via my website xjonesconsulting.weebly.com so this week's video was actually video two in a series. Last week we discussed how exactly do I find a teaching position. Now you've watched that video, you've read the blog, and you found the positions that you love, you've figured out when the job fairs are gonna be, and you are ready to move on. You were ready to secure that interview. So today I'm going to discuss a few tips that you can do to secure an interview. Okay. So number one, grammar 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 even if you are submitting that application online um, be it it is your cover letter it is your resume it may just be an introduction email saying hi my name is x and i'm sending you my resume and my cover letter please make sure that it is grammatically correct. That is your first impression. And one way to eliminate an applicant is if the applicant uses poor grammar. I mean, and even in discussion or in conversation, we make mistakes because that's what we do. However, if it's something that's written, that means that you had time to read it, reread it, give it to someone else to read before you sent it off as the final copy. So if you have not already done that, have someone read your cover letter, have them read your resume. If you have to submit some sort of information on the online application, or if you're sending an email to someone, have someone proofread it quickly before you send it out, okay? Number two, make yourself known. So when you're sending applications online or you're sending resumes uh, via email, they can be very, very impersonal. So it's really important that you make yourself known. And a couple of ways to do that is to simply Google. Go to the school's website, the district's website, the company's website, and look up who you're looking for. You can find who you're looking for and send that person a quick email. Introduce yourself. Hi, my name is X and I have recently submitted an application uh, for this particular position and I just want to let you know I'm really excited about it. And I look forward to hearing from you. That's a way to put your name, move your name from the bottom of that stack to the front of that stack. Okay. Another quick way. You can honestly look at people's LinkedIn. If you do not have a LinkedIn profile, you need to have a LinkedIn profile. You can simply click on someone's page and by clicking on someone's page, then they're aware that you've looked, which already sparks an interest. So it's really simple, but it's really important. Make sure you can make yourself known the best way you possibly can. Number three. Be friendly and personable. I don't know, some people are just like, hey, I am a naturally friendly person. I am naturally personable. And I know I tend to be friendly and personable. However, if I'm nervous, it's really difficult for me to be friendly and personable because I'm so nervous. And one way to eliminate those nerves is to practice your spiel before you even meet someone, uh, before you go in for a job fair. Just practice exactly what you're gonna say. Say who you are, um, what you're about, what you're passionate about, things that you've done in the past, why you might be a good fit. If all those things are prepared, then it's easier to move into conversation once you're actually talking to someone. Number four, be knowledgeable. So this is one of the things I spoke about in the first video. You should have already looked up those job requirements to see what exactly do they require? Um, what are the skills they require? Are these things that I can do? So make sure you can actually articulate all of those things or as many of those things as you can, because I know those lists can be kind of lengthy. In addition, Google again, Google is your friend. Go ahead and Google uh, typical interview questions for your specific content area. So my specific content area is English. So I would Google interview questions for English teachers just to see if I can answer all those questions and if it's some information on there that I didn't necessarily know, or it could be something as simple as I'm using a, a term that's used interchangeably. So someone may ask you about deconstructing standards. However, you've never used the term deconstructing standards. You use the term unpacking standards. You just wanna make sure that if things like that happen, you're knowledgeable, you're aware, and you don't even skip a beat when those things happen to you. And number five, be 
presentable. So if you're at a job fair, make sure you come dressed to impress. This is your time to put on your finest suit, blazers, make sure you have on a nice iron button up shirt, make sure you have on you know, your pencil skirt or your slacks, but come prepared to interview, okay? Dress for success, dress for the job that you want. So those are just five quick things you can do when you're trying to secure an interview, be it if you have just submitted something online or if you're prepared to go to a job fair. Again, those five things are grammar, grammar, grammar. If you are not having someone proofread all of your cover letters, resumes, applications, emails, find a person who can do that for you because grammar is a quick way to be eliminated if you make a simple mistake. Number two, make yourself known. It's okay to go to a website and find someone's information and just shoot them a quick introduction email. Hi, this is who I am and I'm really interested in this particular position. Number three, be friendly and personable. So a really easy way to do that, again, is to just practice your spiel. Practice what you're gonna to say to someone when you meet them because you'll be much more comfortable and prepared when you actually are there on the day. Number four, be knowledgeable. Look up all of the information that they have on the, as a list of qualifications. Google what types of questions they may ask you at an interview. Be prepared, be ready. And number five, be presentable. Now is your time to break out that suit, okay? You're going in, dressed to impress, dressed for the job that you want. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, this is just a uh, part two in a series. There will be two additional um, parts coming. Uh, so I will look forward, I look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks for tuning in. If you have not already done so, please, please, please like this video and subscribe. If you have not done so, check out my blog. If you haven't checked out my blog, you're missing out on some good stuff. Uh, and finally, if you would like to contact me, you can contact me via my website. Thanks so much for tuning in and have a great day. Hey, interested in learning more or having me work with your school or organization? See the details section below for contact information. Again, thanks for watching.